Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Bowls. I've got just a short video for you tonight to keep you going. The genetics video is so close to being ready. It's been quite a bit of work, but the first draft has been reviewed by Joe Tully, who is collaborating on this one, and we should have it out within the next couple of days, at least part one. There are three parts to this. It turned out to be much longer than I anticipated. So for tonight, just to keep you going, the last video I mentioned I had some females which were out of sync with the rest of the females in the room and I've got a brief update on those and we also managed to capture an ovulation from a female that is in sync with the rest of the females. So enjoy the footage. And here is the Camo Sable or Super Sable Pinstripe female that laid that maternal clutch for me and you can see that she's fully regained all her condition. She laid in November last year so she's had six months but there is absolutely no reason why this girl could not breed again this year. She's regained all her size, all her condition and I don't think maternal incubation would be a reason for not breeding her this year if I wanted to. It's often said that maternal females, because they go without food for much longer, can't be bred again the same year. Neither of those things is true. This female ate while sitting on eggs and has fully recovered her condition. She looks better than ever. Incidentally, this female is one that is actually still a little bit active. Hello, girl. And her breeding cycle is on a completely different schedule to many of the rest of the snakes in the room. This girl will be ready to breed at the beginning of the wet season, not the end of the wet season. Here's another girl on that different later time schedule. This is my yellow belly desert ghost female. She laid in October last year, so six months ago, and she has now fully recovered and is actually gaining weight, which is a good sign for perhaps later this year. We can maybe pair her up again later this year. But that's another one that is on a different schedule to the rest. Okay, I think we have a full-blown ovulation here. This girl's been swelling for a couple of days. Uh, but you can see that her midsection now is very, very stiff. It looks like she's swallowed a banana. She can't bend in the middle. And the tail is hooked round in a tail hook. As I said, I've been thinking that she's ovulating for the last few days. But this swelling is now extreme. So we have another full-blown ovulation here. This girl is a Pastavi Vanilla paired to an Orange Dream Yellow Belly. So we should get some nice Orange Dream combos out of this, hopefully. And there is the V in the tail. Confirmed tail suck there. Awesome. She's a bit upset that I disturbed her there. I don't blame her. Let's uh, give her some peace. Alright guys, that was just a short one to keep you going. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And watch out for the genetics video, which is going to come up within the next couple of days. See you for that one.